Welcome back to the Slightly, Slightly Random, Random Daily Song! Yes, I do have many Tracer t-shirts and each time we get to a Tracer shirt, I'm gonna roll through some interesting Tracer stories, some footage, some great anecdotes. This t-shirt here, the European Fall Tour 2012. This took place not surprisingly, in Europe in 2012. September was the month. Not long earlier, Lee Brown, founding member of the band with Mike Brown, his brother, and Dre the drummer, Lee actually had pulled the pin and left the band. So the band was without a bass player at this point and a tour was ready to go. I'll show you the dates on the, of this tour momentarily, but this tour was already locked in. So there was all a confusion about who would be the bass player and trying to find the right guy. The right guy wasn't actually available at the time. He was busy with another band. It's a story for another time, but what happened in the intermission was Pat Saraceno, bass player from an Adelaide band called Like Leaves, happened to be backpacking through Europe at the time. Now, Tracer, the boys in Tracer, Mike and Dre, had seen Pat. They'd heard his stuff. They liked what he did. They offered him the slot. He was already in Europe. We were already over there. We were in Rotterdam at the time. So, he came across to Rotterdam. I think he was in Spain, potentially in Spain, yeah. He came across to Rotterdam, met the guys. We gelled for a few days, spent some lockdown time in a rehearsal room while Pat learnt the songs for the tour. So the set, learnt all the songs in the set, right? Learnt those songs back to front and played them a bunch of times with Mike and Dre. And of course, I filmed all this, documenting everything. What I want to show you here is one of my favorite tracks from the LA album, which is not really a full album, it's like a self-produced... Oh, wait a second, I've got one in my back pocket right here. It's their first actual release, if you like, like a small mini album, self-produced, self-funded, LA it's called. It went on to be re-released through Mascot Records, but this is the original version of it. And the track I'm gonna play you is End of the Samurai, the opening track, one of my favorites from this mini album, and you're gonna enjoy it, but I'm not gonna show you the recorded version, of course I'm not. I'm gonna show you a in rehearsal space version. <laughs> Pre, uh, like this is not mixed or mastered, this is just the audio off my camera, which happened to be a 5D Mark II. So you're gonna hear a very um, muted vocal range because I obviously lowered the gain on the mic so that, it would, so that it wouldn't peak out with the drums and the guitar. The idea of this video is to showcase how Pat was kind of sliding into the, to the band and how confident he was with the uh, song, right? In this track, End of the Samurai, we were talking about all the songs for the tour, but in this instance, one song. So I hope you enjoy this rather raw cut and uh, you'll only ever see this kind of stuff here on the Gives A Minute D live stream. Yo. Hey, feeling Pat? Good. I'm feeling good. Feeling good? Fuck yeah. Camera? Always. That's a pretty metal. You with a black kit. With black. Yeah, black, 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 and then black. Yeah. Like, you know, Metallica.
What do you think, right? End of the Samurai, little rehearsal space in Rotterdam, locked away down there. I can't even remember whereabouts we were. We were pre-tour. That was, as soon as that was done, I think we did three days there. As soon as that was over, 
We went out on the road and we did all these dates with Pat Saraceno. And I could talk more about what happened after that, but that would be for another time. And so while I sit down and listen to the rest of LA, you guys can go back to the live stream. <laughs>